Next, let's talk about taking multiple dictionaries and combining them into one that we can use to look up items that came from various places. Here in PyCharm, I have a sort of web example for you. Imagine that you're writing a web app. There's data coming from different locations into your action method. So on one hand, we have routing set up that's passing data through the URL. We might be in that location passing the ID and the current value might be this. The title might be that. We also might have the query string and the query string might have some other value for ID like one. It might have a separate value it's adding to the mix here called render fast is true. And then maybe we're also as part of posting along that URL, which matches a route with the query string, we're posting back a form and that form has email and name in it as well. So here I'm just going to print out these three dictionaries just so you can see what they look like. And no surprise, there they are. They just look like basically they are written here. So what if I want one dictionary that I can just ask, what is the ID? What is the username? Or what is the email address? And not have to worry about which one it's located in. We have our super non-Pythonic way here. And I'm going to use this dictionary called M1. And we'll go like this. And I'll say 4K in. And what we're going to do is just going to loop over each dictionary and stick the value in there. The order in which we do this matters. So let's suppose we want the query string to have the least value. So we're going to put those values into this combined dictionary first. So we'll say like so. And then we could just go to M1. And we can just set the value for whatever the key is to whatever the value in the query dictionary. Here's like that. And we'll do the same thing for, let's say, the next thing we're going to do is the post. Like that. And finally, we'll do it for the route. Okay, so if we run it, we should get a dictionary because the route has higher priority with ID 27, title fast apps, render fast is true, and then that data in it. And let's run it. All right, ID 271, like we expected, Jeff, fast apps, perfect. So it looks like it combined it well, but this is a very procedural way. And there's, there's better ways. So in Python down here, we can actually sort of improve upon this by leveraging the, a couple of methods on the dictionary. So we go like this. And remember, we wanted the query first. So we can say query.copy and actually create a copy of the dictionary. And then we can go here and we can say update. I would like you to update your values, possibly overriding them with the post. And then I'd also like to override those with the route. So now if I run it, we should have exactly the same output, but a little safer, less, less fiddly. Okay, you can see these are the same dictionary. Now, notice there's nothing about dictionaries that are ordered. So they're going to be out of order, but they are the same value. Down here, this no, I wrote some code that checks whether these four dictionaries, M1, M2, M3, and M4, are the same. We're not finished yet, so they're not going to be the same. But in the end, we write these better versions here, and we should be good. We can actually do this in one line with the dictionary comprehension. It's not pretty, but it does work. So let's imagine it more at the end. We can say for D in, and we can put all of our dictionaries in the order we care about, query, post, and route. And so for each one of those, we can come back here and say we would like the key colon value. And we'll go for each one of these. We'll say for K comma V in D dot items. So here you can see exactly the same dictionary modulo the ordering. Let's do a little formatting on that. Okay, so we're looping over all the dictionaries, and for each dictionary we're looping over, we're looping over and pulling out uh, the key and the value from the items, and then we're creating a dictionary from that. So this works. Uh, I really don't like it very much, even though it happens in one line and it feels like, oh, that must be Pythonic, because look at it, it's cool and special and declarative. To me, it's, it's hard to look at that and go, oh, I see, you're combining those dictionaries. So given the choice between the classic Pythonic way and this dictionary comprehension way, I'd actually prefer the one above because this is really clear to me what's happening. Maybe that's just me. But in Python 3.5, they introduced a really cool way to merge dictionaries. So if we were going to call a function, let's just say some function, and we wanted to take a dictionary and pass it as keyword arguments here, I could say star star query, say if I wanted to pass the values from the query. Well, they kind of applied that same syntax here to say I would like to merge all the values from, let's start with query, all the values from post, and all the values from route. So this does not work on Python 3.4 or below, so be careful. 
Um, it's only P Python 3.5 and above. Let's run it and make sure it does what we expect. Boom, look at that. There's that last one we just wrote. And if we actually do a comparison of the values uh, ignoring order, these are exactly all the same. So here we have the super non-Pythonic way. Bleh. We have the sort of classical way of doing this, leveraging the dictionary features. We have the clever, but too clever in my opinion, way of looping over the dictionaries and looping over their key value items and recombining them. And then we have the quite slick Python 3 way of the star star dictionary to unpack them back into a dictionary. And notice it has the same overwriting process where the ID from the query was overwritten by the ID from the route because the route came last. Let's see that in a graphic. So here's our three dictionaries and our non-Pythonic way. We create a blank dictionary and we just loop over all the items and we just start filling it up. Very procedural, not amazing. But instead, we can use the Python 3, that is 3.5, actually quite high, way of unpacking the dictionary back into a dictionary. So this star star query, star star post, star star route becomes a new dictionary. Very nice. Thanks for watching. This video is just one of over 50 Pythonic techniques you'll learn in my full course. Check it out at talkpython.fm slash pythonic.